It's the beginning of the weekend, and as you know, the start of engaging conversations here on Waze. Welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Waze, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am your host, Osayuwa Mesale, and I'm joined by Drumroll, <laughs> aka and EC. Hi, you guys. Doing? Hello. Hello. You're looking amazing. Thank you. Like a pink princess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. How's your week been? Hmm. This week has been. When you start with, hmm, <laughs> you can guess. It's been a very, very long week for me. It's been meetings back to back to back, you know, and I've, mm -hmm. I've had to go. In fact, I abandoned my home and I went to the mainland to, the mainland to stay with my sister because my husband is not in town. Wow. My children are in boarding house. Oh. There is no need for you to <laughs> I, for me, it's been a short week because of those meetings back to back. So I just have, I barely have time mm. to, you know, do what I have to do. But well, how is the SME front doing though? Well, we're just happy that a lot of people are participating. A lot of people, there's a buzz now, so everybody is into it, which is not a bad thing. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. awesome. I hope people will start giving us money at uh, one digit <laughs> below 5%. Let's look at what the economy is saying. Ah, okay. Well, when they begin to speak like that, they are not ready to do it. <laughs> Isi, how are you doing? I'm very well. School has resumed, so what's, yes. what's happening? We're back to the grind. That's it's as good. simple as that. That's and fantastic. We've been talking our brains out and we'll continue till the end of the session. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we found as today's quote. In my opinion, our healthcare system has failed when a doctor fails to treat an illness that is treatable. Mm. That's from Kevin Allen Lee. Mm. What do you ladies think? <laughs> I just begin to now think of how many doctors have failed mm -hmm. because when you think of the number of people that die from simple but should I say simple but things like malaria that we should have known and can treat it's just sad so when you read this quote and, and I just see a lot of failure because a lot of people die from very simple things that are in this treatable country, right? in this country. That's clearly avoidable. Clearly treat even treatable. treatable Let's yeah. even say treatable. So yes, you even use the real word, word there, which yes. is treatable, something that could have been handled. And I, I don't even want to start with the stories that we hear, people getting wrong treatments, wrong medications, and it's, it's just so sad. You see, have you had any experience with um, see, wrong treatments in the hospital? It's, it's actually calling to mind um, an experience we had recently of someone who was sick and the doctor was administering another treatment to the um, individual and at the end of the day the individual died. Oh my gosh. It's um, something that has not been um, easy for the family to cope with and now we don't have, I don't think we have something in line for us to sue the company or sue the doctor or something to, you know, I but think there's a provision for that but then but you now go to do, the process of, guess what, we yeah. don't follow through. We don't. It's tiring. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, Lamy on, when was that? I think it was Sunday, she was telling us something about a very close um, person to her that lost their only child. They've yes. struggled after getting, I mean, after many years of trials, finally having a yes. child, I think that was five or something, the child died. I know the thing is, because we are mourning and all of that, I think when do we start to actually hold doctors and all these people are accountable. accountable. You know, I know you're mourning, but we need to prevent subsequent deaths Some from Some people happening. have tried, but the thing is, what is the process? Is it something you could get Easy. justice for and then you say, prove it, and you know, probably you don't do an autopsy. It's just a long, grueling process, and you're mourning, and it just keeps it fresh in your, in your memory. In your memory. So it's, it's a lot to deal with. Hmm. Well, Today we're talking healthcare in Nigeria, and as always, we have amazing guests with us to discuss this. But first, let's take a quick break. When we return, we see what we found in news. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. 